Police say that the suspect, the shooter, was killed in a firefight uh, with police. Aaron Alexis, 34 years old, believed to be from Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, we don't have a motive for this as of yet. Let's bring in an expanded panel tonight. Fox News senior political analyst Britt Hume, Steve Hayes, senior writer for the Weekly Standard, Mar Eliasson, national political correspondent for National Public Radio and syndicated columnist Charles Krauthammer. Just want to warn you, I want to interrupt if uh, Ed Henry gets us more information from the White House. Britt, your thoughts on this day as we've uh, dealt with a, a day of tense situations here? Well, 13 people are dead counting the shooter. We think we know who was responsible. We don't know why. We think we know what in terms of the nature of the crime. It's basically a mass shooting of a kind we've become all too familiar with. But we don't know how exactly. How did he get in? How did he manage to, to, to come into possession inside this uh, secure military base, supposedly, of these weapons or weapon? We don't know. Uh, we've got a lot to learn, and I think it's very early to draw any conclusions. I think a lot of the usual suspects have gone to battle stations, as they always do, over gun control or the lack of it or whatever, but, uh, and that's going to happen, but it doesn't mean very much at this stage. Hard to believe that after what happened in Newtown, nothing came of it in Congress, much of that issue is going to come of this. Steve? Yeah, an incredibly difficult day, I think, particularly for people who are working down at the, at the Navy Yard. Um, it will be very interesting to see where this goes moving forward. The president gave a speech today that I think for some struck people as somewhat tone deaf, the fact that he gave a speech that was certainly a bitter partisan attack on Republicans, uh, particularly on these budget issues, as this situation was unfolding. Um, the fact that, that Kathy Lanier, uh, head of the Washington, D.C. Metro Police Department, had come out and said, we don't know a lot of this, he had alerted people to the fact that there could be two additional gunmen. The White House decided to go against it, and then Ed Henry reports that there wasn't really even a discussion um, about whether to postpone the speech or not proceed. Uh, I think, to Britt's point, if the president were inclined, or if the White House were inclined, uh, and, and his colleagues, political uh, supporters, were inclined to resurrect the campaign on gun control, I think the fact that the president spoke today the way that he did would make that a more difficult challenge.